What's going on everybody, how you doing? Today, we are going to use our Caesar Romeo and cut some Caesar Puff HTV to do an order for a client. Yes, this is actually for a client. I was in a pinch, ordered my Caesar Puff from Heat Transport House, but I could not wait for it to get here. So, I had to run to Michael's. Guys, don't forget Michael's and stores like that in your neighborhood, in your local area that carry the stuff that we need in order to get these orders done quick, fast, and hurry. But let's jump into Leonardo Design Studio and Design Studio Pro, as a matter of fact, and show you guys how I get this client's design done in here. It's just a name, but they want it arched. So uh, let's jump into Caesar Leonardo and get this done. Let's go. All right, so we are in Caesar Leonardo Design Studio Pro, guys. I want you guys to look at this area right here, all right? So first thing to remember is the client wants the text arched, like, like going like this across the chest, all right? So we are going to use this tool right here, obviously. So we got this tool, and this is what you're going to see when you um, at, in standard mode. But you're going to go over here to text on arc. You click on text on arc, and you see we got our arc right there. And we're going to go ahead and write down exactly what they want. I know it starts with an M. Let me go check my text messages really fast, guys, so I can make sure the spelling is correctly. Always make sure you guys are spelling everything correctly. Look once, look twice, look three times because you will mess up. M O. N E and the E has a little hyphen over top of it. So I'm going to hold down my E and I'm going to click right click number two because right under here it says number two. So I'm going to click number two and that's going to bring up my E with a hyphen. And I actually have to erase a letter right here. So I'm going to erase that extra E. Monet and I think E L I O R E. I gotta do stuff like this. I gotta be real, real anal with myself because I will mess stuff, stuff up and I will print it and I will press it and the shirt will be messed up. So make sure you guys are paying attention when you are doing these letters, okay? So I'm gonna go over it one more time. M-O-N-E with a little thing over top of it. L-I-O-R-E. Yes, that is correct. All right, so now I'm gonna go over to font style and I'm gonna go Arial Black with this one and I'm gonna click Apply. All right, so wait. I'm not done yet. I'm going to click back into text on an arc right here. Bring back up my same text. And I'm going to increase the font size by a lot. By a lot. Right? And now, that's probably too much. That's maybe like this. All right, now I'm going to come down here to radius. And I'm just going to start raising it up. I'm just going to keep on raising it up until it's in a position that I like. Don't, I don't see, the thing is with arches, you never know how arch the client wants the arch. It's kind of difficult to tell, right? So I'm gonna just hit apply and see what it looks like on our artboard. And right now, by this number right here, you can tell it's eight, eight inches wide. I think I want it to be a little bit wider than that, um, a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna make our font, our actual font bigger. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and decrease that arch a little bit more. All right, so let's see what size it is if we press, okay. Um, Caesar representatives, if you are watching this video, this workspace right here, this workspace right here needs a way to measure this text from side, from end to end, this workspace right here. So um, if you guys can please implement that in the um, next software update, that would be incredible see it's sitting on the work plane right here on the on the desk but i don't see any measurements if i click wireframe i don't see any measurements at all background no background um i'm assuming that maybe each block is an inch but you can't zoom in let me see if i can zoom in if i press right here all right but anyway oh here's my zoom tool right here so you can zoom in right here okay so the, yeah, there you go that makes sense that makes sense now okay so i can zoom back out there you go all right now let's um uh press apply all right, press apply and we're good to go. All right, now we're on the thing. This is 11 inches wide. Hmm, yeah, that's about right. All right, so now I can reposition it right here and we have our graphic done, guys. A um, little bit of fumbles right here because I'm still, I'm still learning some stuff in the software trying to get it to, you know, do a bunch of things. But overall, it is 
very, very user friendly. Look at the interface, it's very, very simple to understand. Um, I just figured this out before I started making this video. And the one feature that is missing though, is the ability to trace. And I'm willing to, to, to bet that um, the ability to trace shapes, like if you have a solid shape, like you know how you do in Silhouette Studio. But anyway, we're not comparing to Silhouette Studio, but we do, we do have some features that we're used to that we'd like to see on here. Um, and I heard it through the grapevine, the right rhinestone feature is coming out very, very soon. So right now, as it stands right now, um, we're ready to go. Um, I'm cutting with no mat. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, send. All right, selected artwork only, yes. Okay, yes, 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 send. Okay, now it brings this up and I'm gonna highlight it and I'm going to uh, rotate it, all right? There's probably another way to rotate, but I'm just gonna go like this, all right? Because um, this Caesar is most likely shorter than 11, the 11 inch wide that this is. So in order to get, be able to cut my vinyl, I, I need to cut it long ways because this is definitely, it's probably not 11 inches wide, I doubt it. I'm not sure, but if it is, it's probably exactly 11 inches. I don't know, but I'm, I'm willing to bet it's maybe like 10.5 or something. I'm not sure. I don't don't have, oh, you know what? Do I have a ruler? Yeah, I do have a tape measure over there, but no, it's not over there. Anyway, uh, I digress. So what I'm gonna do, and this, this is a trick you guys can do, is just rotate your image right here, right? And line it up directly with this line right here. And now our image is rotated. And only thing we really need to do if we wanted to was increase our mat size all right but no we're using a material roll so it doesn't matter but if we had a cutting mat we could change the settings right here but we don't we just use a material roll so the size um i guess doesn't matter all right so i'm gonna hit it off right here and we already sent it to cutter but the only thing i did need to do is plug in my caesar romeo so let me plug it in and turn it on um and then we'll be ready to cut but this michael's vinyl guys this Michael's final right here. Let's open it up. What I like about this is it says Caesar Puff right here and it has pressing instructions directly on it. So you can't really mess this up. Right in the back, it says applies to 100% cotton. Application, all right, different languages for that. And I swore I saw, you know, temperature instruction. Oh, this is 11.8 inches wide okay so it could 11.8 inches wide by 36 inches long all right i swore i saw pressing instructions on here i know i'm not going crazy i guess i am going crazy huh i guess i am going crazy i swore i saw pressing instructions on here when i bought this thing all right well i guess there are no pressing instructions on here but there is a qr code on here and i bet you can scan that qr code and get some more information on it but I'm going to go ahead and go with the, actually, I'm going to look it up on the website and see. Let me scan this and see. Let me see what it says, guys. I'm willing to bet there's more information here. Let's see. Let me scan that thing. Click on that thing right there. All right. Oh, let me, let me show you guys this. Let me show this to you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Start recording. Record my screen. All right, Easy Puff HTV. All right, so you scan it right there and it brings up more information. All right, and it tells you what blade to use to cut it and what force to use. Oh, you click on application instructions right here and it tells you cover with heat transfer cover sheet or multi-purpose paper, preheat the garment for two to three seconds, apply design at 280 degrees Fahrenheit Use medium to firm pressure for eight to 10 seconds. Peel carrier hot. All I had to do was scan this little QR code on here and I got all those instructions. Very, very nice to have. Very, very convenient to have right at my fingertips. Tips, and it shows you all the other different vinyls they have available in this specific vinyl type, which is the Easy Puff HTV, guys. Um, if you are shopping online, use my Heat Transfer Warehouse affiliate link down in the description below to purchase your Puff HTV or your Caesar Romeo, or even if you want to get a, uh, uh, any of the other stuff that they sell on Heat Transfer Warehouse, use my affiliate link. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. 
Oh, sidebar, if you need a heat press, get the one with the interchangeable platinum on Heat Transfer Warehouse's website. I'll, I'll make a full video on that later, but I absolutely, as time has gone by, I'm absolutely in love with that press. Just because of the fact that you can, it has interchangeable platens, and that's like invaluable. The interchangeable platens, certain platens are like, anyway, I digress. Stay tuned for that video, like, comment, subscribe. But let's go into uh, turning our heat press on, I mean our, our um, Caesar Romeo on, so we can cut this vinyl out and we can feed it in. All right, let's do it. I know you see it. Let's just press this button right here. I know you see it. Got that Caesar in the air. I can seize it in the air. Yeah, remix. Ooh, fancy, nice. Look at that. Never gets old. All right, let's put in our vinyl. In the back of our Romeo, guys, I'm gonna put this down right here. This should come with your Romeo. And what it does is it lets your vinyl just slide on the wheels right here. All right, so sit down, you roll on that, and you're good to go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and raise the lever right here on the side to raise my pinch rollers up. All right, did I put them down or put them up? All right, down, put the pinch, put this down, putting the lever down raises your pinch roller, all right? So now I know it's shiny side down. It's the puff. I want it to cut on the puff, not the carrier sheet. The carrier sheet is the shiny side, so I'm going to insert it into my Caesar Romeo like so. All right, if I can get it through there. All right, there we go, nicely. Um, position my roller thing in the correct position right here. And in the front, I'm just gonna line my vinyl up with this here line on the side. I'm gonna butt it up against there nice and straight as possible. And as soon as I get it nice and straight, I'm gonna go ahead and raise my handle and Snap those pinch rolls down and we locked in, baby. We locked in. Now, now when I push the button, when I push the little arrow right here, you see this, you see this arrow on the screen? If I push it up or down, watch, watch how my vinyl move. Watch how smooth that is. See how smooth that is? I'm just tapping it and it's so smooth and precise. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now I'm gonna put it in the corner. I'm gonna change my settings according to what it said on the website on the QR code let me change my settings let me show you guys how to do that so right now we're looking at the menu of the Caesar Romeo and right here you see it says cut settings we're going to try to save the cut settings of what it recommended on the website we are using the 45 degree blade so it says for 45 degree blade the force is supposed to be 5 and the speed is supposed to be 10 so let's go ahead to cut settings and let's go ahead and click on this right here and let's see if they have puff available we're on other right now i don't see any puff there's an open space right there psv puff wouldn't be under that and then htv puff should be under here but i don't see any puff settings so i think i'm just gonna have to change one of them and i don't think i'm gonna use metal so let me click on metal let me click rename and then i'm gonna Click backspace right here, and then capital S, lowercase I, S, E, R, space, capital P, lowercase P, F, F, and then I'm going to press save. Save. All right. So now we got Caesar Puff, and then if I click Caesar Puff, I got my settings right here. So I can go ahead and put the cut speed supposed to be on 10. Yeah, and the force is supposed to be all the way down on five, but I'm going to put it on six. I'm going to put it on six because my blade, I've been using my blade a lot. So I'm going to put it on six and see how that make, how I make out. Okay, so cut uh, speed, I got it on 10 and the force, I got it on six. And I'm going to hit this button right here that's going to save. All right, so that update, it says... Update presets, updating, up, update preset. Updating preset will override existing cut settings. Update. All right, so now we are locked in with those settings for that specific Caesar Puff. Now I can hit this button right here and it'll go ahead and do a test cut for me and, um, and we'll see if those cut settings are right. Let's do it. Now in order to maximize my vinyl space, I'm gonna press the right arrow to bring my head a little bit to the right. 
all right because i'm going to be printing i'm going to be cutting right from this corner right here so i don't want to ruin that part right here so let me bring my thing a little bit to the right on the edge right here and i'll do my settings my cut settings right there all right so i'm going to bring it out a little bit so i can kind of get on the edge of that vinyl i'm going to press the t-shirt button all right and then it did our little cut right here all right so now i'm going to scooch this over i'm going to bring this out a little bit and i'm going to see if we have the right cut settings all right let me uh zoom you guys in so you guys can see what what i'm do doing here all right i'm not sure if you guys see that but um there's a little t-shirt right here i'm going to go ahead and try to weed it and i think we need a little bit more all right because that should weed way easier than that but it's not weeding all right all right yeah so and that is in fact the right side all right so we're gonna we're gonna need some more pressure and stuff all right so this is how you can tell when it's time to change the blade and it's pretty much time for me to change my blade now but i'm gonna adjust the force all right so i'm gonna come back over here and i'm gonna move that down a little bit come back over here and i'm gonna adjust my force i'm gonna put my force on 12 all right force on 12 now i'm gonna hit the cut button again All right, just that easy. Move the head over, bring it over here a little bit, bring it down, and let's check this cut setting right here. All right, that's one of the reasons why I like this cutter so much. Oh my gosh, it's still not, oh my Jesus Lord. Jesus Lord, this is crazy. This is crazy. Do I need to change my blade? I must need to change my blade. I'm just making sure it's on the right side. Yeah, it's definitely on the right side. This is cutting the vinyl right here, but it ain't weeding. But the good thing about this is it's easy to keep on checking cut settings. That's the one thing I love about this. And I don't have to use my computer. And that's I think that's a real inconvenience if you keep on having to use your computer. All right. So I'm going to put it on 25. I'm going to go all the way up, put on 25. And I'm going to save it. All right. Update. And then I'm going to press the cut button again. All right. I'm going to press over. Bring it down. Oh, too far. That probably cut through it now. All right, let's see. All right. You know what? You know what, guys? Shiny side is not down for puff. I forgot. Shiny side is not down for puff. I'm cutting on the wrong side. That's what our problem was. I am cutting on the wrong side. Guys, oh my gosh. Mistakes happen, even for the best of us. All right, so let me take this vinyl out. Just hit the up arrow. All right, I'm glad you guys saw that because, hey, mistakes happen even for the best of us. All right, let me put this back in the side right here and raise the pinch rollers and we're gonna go to the other side. Jeez Louise, can you believe that? I was wondering what was going on right here. So let me feed my vinyl through. I'm like, why is the recommended cut settings not working? Now I gotta go back to those settings and try them again, which is gonna be easy, but I'm not gonna put you guys through all that. Let's lock in. And let's go ahead and go down and we'll try those cut settings right over here. All right, that's sufficient. And what the cut setting says, the cut setting says five. So it's supposed to be on, no, so the speed's supposed to be on 10 and the force is supposed to be on five. And I said I was gonna put it on seven, all right, or eight. And I'm save that update and now let's press the t-shirt button and see what happens all right sheesh what a day we're having today all right so let's move this over and let's try again where's my weeding tool it's it it rolled underneath my okay here i go i got it okay cool put that back in the corner right here and let's see let's see let's see let's see Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit more pressure than that. God, I'm fine, these cuts are, oh, let me say, let me say. All right, I told you I've been using this, this, this blade like crazy. All right, I'm gonna put on 15. 15, save that, update, cut. All right, over, down. Let's try this. I don't know what's 
is happening? All right, I mean, a piece of it came off, but that is obviously not the right cut settings because it is too light. Actually, you know what? I think that might be the right cut settings. I think that might be the right cut settings. That's definitely the right cut settings. Let me uh, bring it over to right here again, and I'm just gonna try it again. I think I'm looking at the, I was looking at the wrong t-shirt the, the first time. All right, let me bring it over here, and bring this down here to about right here. And let's cut that, it's right here. All right, bring this down. Kind of easy to do. All right, so this circle right here. I'm gonna need the circle to come on out. Okay, yeah, yeah, that came out, it came out. It came out, okay, it came out clean. All right, so those were the right cut settings, in fact. Those were, in fact, the right cut settings, and it weeded very, very easily. So those are the right cut settings, my bad, my bad. All right, I got it on, um, I got my speed on 10 and the force on 15. So the cut settings are right according to how dull my blade is. So that's a prime example, guys. Everyone's cut settings might not be the same. Those specifications were if you have a brand new blade, as you use your blade on your Caesar Romeo or Caesar Juliet, your blade starts to slowly get dull and then you have to adjust your cut settings. So I'm glad we went through that. I'm gonna keep that in the video so that you guys are mindful of that. Blades do get dull and as they get dull, you have to adjust your cut settings, okay? So, all right, let's send this to cut. Um, is it positioned in the right position? Yes, it's past that area right here. I think I'm gonna bring it out just a little bit more. And now I have it positioned there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit send to cutter. I'm gonna bring up my little message right there. Send, all right, there we go. So one has a weed box and one doesn't. I'm gonna try to weed the one that has the weed box so we can see it. All right, so I'm gonna grab the edge right here and let's see how good of a weed we got. Excellent, I like the way it's coming up. Excellent, 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 I like that. All right, so let's keep it going. Let's grab the other end of the weed box and let's just keep it going. That's what I like to see when I weed my vinyl. I don't want to have any resistance like that. Even though my blade is slightly dull, all my vinyl is coming off, so I do not have to fight with it. And that's exactly what we want when we are weeding. I don't want to speak too soon though because stuff can always go wrong at the end, guys. But with the Caesar Romeo, no problem. All right, let's grab my circle right here. Grab this thing right here. Let's get this up right here. We're good to go. And then grab this one up right here. And we are good at two ago. All right, stop playing with him. You know what, guys? Guess what? We can't use this. You know why? We didn't mirror it. All right, wasting vinyl, attempt number two. And guess what? This attempt has to work because if it doesn't, we're out of vinyl and we can't complete this order. So sometimes we make things harder for ourselves by recording video while trying to show people how to do stuff that we are not yet even sure how to do ourselves. <laughs> so guys, I put the automatic, I put two of them on here. As a matter of fact, I should put three on, of them on here. Um, just to have another one just in case. So I'm gonna put three of them on here and I'm going to go ahead and send this to cut. I put the weeding box around all of them so we should be good to go. And I'm just gonna send them to cut, guys. All right, fingers. Yeah, yeah, send to cut. I mirrored it, we're good, okay, yeah, we're good. If this doesn't work, this was not meant to be. What am I talking about if it doesn't work? It has no choice but to work, because guess what? We don't got no more vinyl left. We're done with vinyl, so it has to work. So, moment of truth. Let's see, moment of truth, guys. What is gonna be? Is today gonna be a good day or a bad day? I'm, I'm banking on, I'm hoping that today's gonna be a good day, but let's see if today's gonna be a good day or today's gonna be a bad day. Oh my gosh, drum rolls, please. Good day. Good day, hello, 
Hello, Mr. Good Day. Hello, Mr. Sunshine. Hello, Mr. Good Day. Oh, yeah. We didn't like a boss. We didn't like a champion. That's what I'm talking about. You get excited when it's crunch time and you almost messed up and, you know, you, you thought you knew what you was doing, but you didn't know what you was doing, but then you figured out what you was doing and it worked out anyway. And I just get so excited, but you're not out of the woods yet because we got to get good weed. We got to get a good weed. We got three of them and we still got plenty to go. All right. And we don't have any more puff vinyl left. So it's crunch time right now, baby. And we don't want to mess this up. We got a good weed. The only thing left to do is flip it around and see if it reads correctly. And the moment of truth. Yes, yes, we are good to go, guys. It's reading correctly. We're good to go. Now, now we can heat up our heat press and put this joint on, man. Put this joint on me. Go ahead. Hey Patrick, man, I need some more. I need some more Caesar Puff Black. All right. So let me go ahead and cut this out right here. Guys, whenever you're cutting vinyl, make sure you keep a oh, make sure you keep a handy dandy trash bag next to you because you want to keep your workspace clean. You want to get all those vinyl scraps and put them in one area so your workspace stays clean. Now, when I first started doing vinyl, I've been guilty of not keeping my workspace clean and having little vinyl scraps and little dots and little stuff all over the place and it's not a place that you want to be so let's try to keep our workspace let's try to keep our caesar workspaces clean all right all right here we go all right everybody got our heat press heated up it's actually on one uh, 277 right now 10 seconds i'm going to go ahead and put my hoodie on this here platen to give it just a little warm, warm up press, you know what I mean? Directly onto the hoodie, all right? Kinda wanna move you guys to the side, the camera to the side. Let me move the camera to the side before I mess up my little thing, hold on. Yeah, I definitely need to be in front of this because <laughs> just making videos will get you messed up as you guys can clearly see from earlier. Okay, so now I got this nice and straight. A lot of times with these hoodies, the pockets are not sewn on straight, but in this case of this, this is fine. All right, so I'm gonna press down just for a little bit just to get the moisture out, just for a little bit, all right? Directly onto the hoodie, a few seconds. All right, that's good right there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and lay my thing. And this is some black on black action right here. Black on black. All right. As you guys can see right there. Boom. All right. That's cool. I like the placement of that. I'm going to put my Teflon sheet over top to protect the garment so I don't get any ash marks like I almost did just now. All right. But didn't have it down quite long enough to get the ash mark. So I'm at one, uh, 278 degrees, supposed to be at 280, close enough. All right, 10 seconds. All right, I'm gonna pull up. All right, now I'm just gonna peel my puff and that puff is puffing already. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's all we need. I don't even need to do another, I don't even need to do another one. Oh my gosh, that look good. That looks good right there. Jeez, jeez Louise, I gotta take a picture of something to my client. Oh my God, that looks so good. Black on black, black on black for the win. Should I, sh should I just, just a light, light little, reduce the pressure, light little two seconds. One, two, three, all right. Just a little, just, a, just a light little, just in case we get any more puff, all right? That sets it in. All right, we are good to go. This thing look good. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. I got to take a picture. I wants to take a picture. I wants to take a picture of that puff right there. Black on black. It's kind of like a... Y'all see it. Y'all see that puff dosity puffing through? Caesar puff. The best puff in the business. Some people say they don't... They have problems with this. I don't, I don't see it, guys. And what I like about this is... Even though it's puffed, it kind of went into the fabric a little bit. Do you guys see how it went into the fabric slightly? But it's still raised up. So just like that, guys, this stuff is pretty magical. It looks amazing. Black on black. And it's not like a, a, a dark black. It's like a grayish type of black, right? But it looks fantastic on this hoodie right here. 
Um, this is the trend right now. People are going same color on same color. I love it. I think it looks amazing. I got two more left. I'll make one for me. And I might even give my client two of them. I don't know. We'll see what other, other hoodies I have in the stash right there. Might give another color or something. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, this tutorial, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Use my Heat Transfer House affiliate link to get your Caesar Puff HTV and all your other HTV needs at Heat Transfer Warehouse. Don't forget, if you need any DTF transfers, head on over to allenaway.com and get your DTF transfers right now. If you need a DTG shirt printed with your image on it, allenaway.com right now, you can get a DTG shirt for the price of $1.5, $15 for a DTG shirt with your image on it right now. All right, so um, head on over to the site, check some stuff out. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.